Oliver Haas. Dow Gordon. Five in the middle. Biggins missed it. And Barham with his first touch puts it over the top. Oh, Gordon did the spade work on the right. It was a good cross. There was a lot of room for the winger, which Power tried to cut down but didn't succeed. Complete miss by Biggins. And I suppose you have to say the same thing about Barham. Back now. Mendham. Barham. Offside. It won't count. Too much time to warm up. Probably wishes he had for the earlier opportunity. Oh, I certainly can't complain. The attacking style of both sides. Sheedy! And how well he adjusted his balance. That really was so well taken. Couldn't have expected the ball to come to him quite like that. Look at this. Goes right. Finds it coming awkwardly, but makes the balance away to the right and puts it in with his left near edge of the six yard area begins practically on the line in front of the goalkeeper sharp at the back who got it away Trinkle's header for Norwich Gordon did well yes and Barham Mark Barham up for missing what was apparently an easier one than that but again a great bit of credit goes to Dale Gordon it seemed to come off both goalkeeper and defender off the line on the line body and elbow in the way Ratcliffe sharp 2-1 to Everton they were looking for the offside, but he most certainly was not. And then Graham Sharp gets his first goal for well over a month. One in the air initially by Mountfield. And Sharp left unattended, found the corner. Back in front. Barham, Mendham, nice turn by Drinkle. Didn't really get hold of the shot. is as well from Neville Southall's viewpoint Stephen time to look one way go the other look for the ball down the line and getting a good cross Sheedy and it hit the goalkeeper had already gone down the ball proved to have been a very big save how much he knew about it only he can uh, tell be a test of his honesty too. Number four. Comes down to Bruce. Giving him the space to pick somebody out. Begins Elliot. Off the studs of South Hall. Gordon. Power. Great header by Calvin House. And uh, thumbs up from Southall. The save a few moments ago was made, I think, with the bottom of his boots. Biggins didn't get hold of it. Elliot did. Heath, Trevor Stephen makes the run on, he's beautifully played in, and misses. And Stephen appearing that there was a touch on it for the corner. Really fine ball by Heath, superbly weighted. Whether the goalkeeper touched it. Putney. 
penalty is given. For the challenge by Putney on Heath. Suddenly, Everton had a man clear. Putney stretched. Heath went down. Everton into the quarterfinals. The goal coming with 11 minutes remaining. Cleanly struck the goalkeeper going the wrong way. Sheedy. Oh. Georgia stuff, and it's two against one here. And maybe Sharp doesn't need help, or does he? And if he lays it off now, he must. Oh, and he only just did. Must be an element of relief in the feelings of Adrian Heath because really he very nearly missed that. Sharp biding his time, laid it on perfectly. Heath decided to stop it first and then just managed to get it away underneath the goalkeeper's arm. Hello, the skipper's come in the other half. And up comes power two. This has promise. Sharp. Ratcliffe. Good save from Heath by Brian Gunn. And Kevin Ratcliffe salutes the victory. The margin of it perhaps a little harsh on Norwich City, but there can be no question that Everton here were the better side. And their performance epitomised by the performance of... Kevin Sheedy, who for me makes all the difference to this Everton side. He adds an extra touch of class and skill, which will have its greatest test on Sunday against Liverpool. But the final score here in the Littlewoods Cup, a 4-1 victory for Everton over Norwich City, and Everton go 